hi everybody. Um, I posted a video and it was about some of the new products that I purchased at um, during my Ulta little mini haul and um, I used them today. I'm sitting on the fence on one or two of the products and um, I'll let you know what I feel about them. First of all, let me just say um, something that I've used up that I use the whole contents of, can't get any more out of it, um, and it's in a nice little pump, is the uh, Le Blanc de Chanel. And this is a multi-use illuminating base. I liked it. Um, it took me quite a while to go through it. Um, it does give your skin an even tone. Um, this is supposed to be a little more illuminating and uh, the mineral veil from um, it's Hourglass. And this is the mineral primer. And um, I just, I just really like this. And maybe I shouldn't compare, but I also use this as a multi-use illuminating base. So I consider both of these to be base type products. So I finished this. Um, would I be opposed to purchasing it again? No, but as long as I'm still loving this, this is what I'm definitely going to repurchase. And um, something else that I have wanted to show um, for a little while, I um, purchased this and I've used a bit of it. It's the Glam Glow, a glow setter, makeup setting spray. Love this a lot. It's a very fine, soft mist. Very coconutty. Um, let me see if I can give you any more. Um, no, but has a really, really nice coconut um, smell and I like it and the mist for a setting spray is quite different than anything else I've ever used usually like I use the Mac um, setting spray and it's like a real push when you pump it down and you know you got to kind of make sure your hair is out of the way and this is a, like a soft fine gentle misting and um, I did read some of the reviews on this and most reviews gave this almost like a five out of five stars and if there was anything like a four and a half it was just because they didn't like that you had to mist it like maybe more than just the big whoosh. because I think on some of the other <laughs> you like the sound effects um, sprays it's so intense that it just covers and this you just it's just a fine mist it feels really good on when it dries um i didn't feel like my face was totally saturated it just was a soft so i do like this just started using that and today on my face uh, i washed my face this morning with rodin and fields and um um used my toner and put on my moisturizer my spf and then i went right into using this today this um le blanc de chanel and uh, i used it up can't get anything out of it now and uh i already talked about that but that's what i did and then um after that i went ahead and i used my urban decay naked skin um shape shifter is what it's called it's three in one and it's um of course i didn't use all of the products in here but it is um it's triple purpose kit provides everything you need to contour color correct and highlight um the powders in here are very very soft and do blend very well but today i went ahead and i used this color corrector and this is just a really light pink cream color corrector and I did that under my eyes and then this is another color corrector and I just kind of dotted this I'll kind of show you now but it's over around any red areas or cover-up that I wanted and I found it worked really really well and I didn't use um, the middle or this dark brown or that one at all today um, 
Then I switched over to this side and I actually used this. This is like a highlighter, um, but I used this under my brow bone and, um, and then I put this color on my lids and in my crease. Kind of, oops, slip this off. I think that color combination is really pretty. And this is super pigmented. I just did a little bit of um, contouring on my nose. Uh, I didn't do my cheeks or anything, but oh boy, is that pigmented. Um, and this is really pretty. I wanna show you this color. Ooh, it's very, very highlighted. And what I did was I just did it so gently. I tapped it because I wanted to use my uh, Illuminizer um, compact that I also purchased. So I just put a little bit there, but it blends really well. Soft, very blendable. So I think this is worth the money. And it's so nice and convenient, especially if you're traveling, to not have to pack three or four different types of um, compacts. It's kind of, you know, handy. So then I went in with my Rodin and Fields mineralized um, peptide powder. This is in the light, and um, I put that all over. I not use any BB cream or CC cream, no foundation today, just uh, those items. Then I have my Illuminizer, also Naked Skin by Urban Decay, and this is super subtle. It's really pretty. I'll kind of let you see. Uh, see those two lines right there? Um, it's just very subtle. And I just took that fan brush and just kind of rubbed it in and went all over. There is a um, sponge. Cute little Urban Decay initials that's on it. And I can show you just by applying a little bit how easy and blendable it is to blend in and just take my powder my brush here that I just cleaned so like I said it's pretty subtle and uh, it does leave a little bit of a I'm kind of sitting on the fence I'm not quite sure but I did want something that was just a little um, less um, colorful and I think this is it and it does put on a nice little glow so I'm just gonna try it again and see what I think after that and um, as I said on my shadows I just went ahead and used this uh, the contours and the colors that they had in here because I think it blended out really well and it happens to be the kind of um, shadow color that I like. My eyelashes I have on um, a L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. This is it right here. A nice mascara. You get good extension, no flaking. Um, like I said, the only thing I don't really care about it is the brush. It's a little bit um, bulbous and um, uh, I don't know. It's just a little harder, I think, to use because it is uh, it is big, but it still does a great job. And then on my lips, I have uh, Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk that I lined in and then just kind of smudged around. And then I've been wanting to show this um, lip pomade by Dior for a while, but I'm always carrying it around in my little makeup bag in my purse, and I don't have it handy. This is Lip Glow Pomade by Dior. And I have that on over the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk. It's really moisturizing. It lasts quite a while. And um, it's, it's very quenching. I love it. Um, I don't notice any flavoring with it. But I've tried several of the Dior lip type products that are balms or um, gloss. And I, I tend to favor them. This one, I really, really like. It's one of the ones I keep in my purse so that I have access to it all the time, no matter what lip color I'm wearing or if I've just penciled in. And then another product I showed in my haul was the Brush Bath by It Cosmetics. Um, I went ahead and used it today, and I cleaned. These were the, the brushes that I cleaned off, and they 
were recently all washed and cleaned and I probably used them two applications and so in the two applications this is what I was able to get out of those brushes and I think two of the brushes I might have just used for the first time today so um, it did clean the brushes really well this is the one that I was mostly concerned about it is the it heavenly powder brush and um, it's such thick fibers and when I'm washing it I can wash and rinse and wash and rinse and you know it's deep down in there so it really did clean the brush really well and all of these brushes were color stained from blushes and uh, totally cleaned them beautifully and this one I used um, this morning so there wasn't a whole lot on it but it cleaned it well and these brushes it just cleaned them uh, super well so as far as the cleaning as far as I can tell it works very well um, the spray is a pretty fine mist and it's oily this is an oil based and um, it just says spray generously onto the brush to dissolve any makeup and gently tissue off any makeup residue um, you can also spray it directly onto a towel or tissue um, first before applying to the brush lay flat to dry one to two minutes so it's done so you don't have any wet brushes and that's the beauty of some of these sprays that you know if you want to go back and do something with that same brush after a couple of minutes it's done it's ready to go um my problem with some of these sprays um <clears throat> is the smell and this kind of reminds me of citronelle citronella candle smell lemony maybe um it's not offensive but what i liked about this is that the brushes don't feel oily when it sprays it's kind of a, a a light mist and it kind of went all over my hands when I was spraying it so I was trying to spray it right over my um, paper towel um, I can still smell the scent on the brush but like I said it's not offensive it actually has that fresh kind of uh, scent to it but it is strong not offensive but strong and so I was curious to see now they've probably been drying for mm, it's probably been about 15 minutes but they they don't feel oily they don't look like they've left any kind of oil residue and even deep down into the brush nothing it's really clean so I think this is gonna work out great and um, my next step in this process will be to make sure I don't break out at all that's next to be seen and uh, then I did just a few little strokes with my um, Bobbi Brown Anastasia I'm sorry my Beverly Hills Anastasia I didn't use any Bobbi Brown today and then I used the Urban Decay Illuminizer and this is what it says it says this powder is damn pretty but I don't care if it's damn pretty I was attracted to the color of it because I have pink glow um, type highlighters and a couple of different brands so I wanted something that was just a little bit different it says it shows up with a sophisticated glow every day with this illuminating finish powder it gives skin a radiant look and it diffuses light to blur flaws for a soft focus effect now I use this very very lightly as um, and then I showed you putting it on here but if you I don't think you'll be able to tell but it does have just the slightest little bit of shimmer so subtle you really don't see it but yes it, it, it's pretty and um, I think I'm going to like it um, but I'm gonna try it a few more times to see so um, I think that's it that's really all I wanted to talk about because from my haul that I posted it was the um, um, shape shifter contour kit um, color corrector and highlighting and then the illuminizer and the um, brush bath and um, 
that's really all I wanted to show you. And then I wanted to talk to you about the Dior Gloss, which I did not pick up in my Ulta haul, but I've had it and I've wanted to talk about it. So this was a perfect time. So until next time, um, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye-bye.